Hello, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 2.6, Divide by Two-Digit Divisors. Please pause to write the lesson number and title in your notebook. Today's lesson objective is to divide by two-digit divisors. Please pause again to write the lesson objective in your notebook. Great job with division so far, fifth graders. Today we're going to divide by two-digit divisors with the standard algorithm. Let's begin by unlocking the problem. Mr. Yates owns a smoothie shop. To mix a batch of his famous orange punch, he uses 18 ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice each day. Each day he squeezes 560 ounces of orange juice. How many batches of orange juice can he make in one day? As always, let's begin by reading the blue box. It says, underline the sentence that tells you what you're trying to find. Remember that comes at the end of a word problem. How many batches of orange punch smoothies can Mr. Yates make in a day? And circle the numbers we need to use. He uses 18 ounces of orange juice and he squeezes 560 ounces of orange juice. And we know that we're going to divide because he's going to share each amount of orange juice into each smoothie. So the first thing that we want to do is estimate. In order to estimate, remember we need to pick a compatible number. So let's round 18 to 20. And we need something that is easily divisible by 2. So instead of 560, I'm going to round to 6 hundred because two goes into six evenly. Two goes into six three times and I have one zero left over. So I'm going to predict that he can make about 30 smoothies in a day. So step one, use the estimate to place the first digit of the quotient. So we know that the first digit of the quotient is going to be in the tens place because 30 is in the tens place, not in the hundreds or the ones. So our first digit is going to be in the tens place. Now that we know that, let's go ahead and divide. 18 goes into 56 three times. 18 times three is 54, and then we subtract. 54, 56 minus 54 is two. So we multiplied 18 times three, and that gave us 54, then 50, Six minus 54 gave us two. Now that we've done all that, let's continue on to step three, divide the ones. So first off, we're gonna bring down that zero and we're gonna decide how many times does 18 go into 20. So 20 divided by 18. 18 only goes into 21 times, so the one goes up on top and we multiplied 18 times 1. Then we subtract 20 minus 18 gives us a remainder of 2. 18 doesn't go into 2, so that's a remainder. So our answer that we get is 31 remainder 2. 31 was a close estimate, it was close to our estimate of 30, so we know that our answer is reasonable. Mr. Yates can make 31 smoothies each day. Let's practice again with a second example. Each Wednesday, Mr. Yates orders fruit. He has set aside $1,250 to purchase Valencia oranges. Each box of Valencia oranges costs $41. How many boxes of Valencia oranges can Mr. Yates purchase? We can use multiplication to check our answer. So the first thing we always do is we estimate. We're gonna round 41 to 40, and then we're gonna look at the first two numbers and make sure that four goes into it. The first two numbers are 12, so I'm gonna round, 40 goes into 12, four goes into 12, so I'm gonna round to 1,200. Four goes into 12, three times and I have one left over zero. So I'm gonna say that he can order about $30, um, 30 pounds of Valencia oranges. Let's go ahead and divide to see if our answer is correct. So the first thing that we do is 41 
into 1. No, that doesn't work. 41 into 12. No, nope, that doesn't work. So we keep moving over. So 41 into 125. They've already given us the answer of 3, but we need to know what we need to subtract. So on the side, let's go ahead and multiply. 41 times 3. 1 times 3 is 3, and 3 times 4 is 12. So we get 123, and then we subtract. 5 minus 3 is 2. 2 minus 2 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, so we're just left over with 2. And the next thing we need to do is bring down that 0. So now we have the number 20. 41 doesn't go into 20, so we put that 0 up at the top because it goes in 0 times, and we subtract, we're left over with 20. And since 20 is smaller than 41, it's a remainder. So the answer that we get is 30 remainder 20. Let's multiply to check. So we're multiplying 30 times 41. We're going to use the standard algorithm. 0 times 1 is 0. 1 times 3 is 3. Now let's go down to the next line with our magic 0. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 3 is 12. Now we add these two together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus nothing is 2 and 1. Okay, but that didn't get us back to our original answer because we need to add the remainder. So 1,230 plus our remainder of 20 gets us to our answer of 1,250. So Mr. Yates can buy how many boxes? 30 boxes. He'll have a remainder left over, but again, good to have a little bit extra than not enough. All right, time for your lesson activity. Your job is to divide 8,455 by 64. Remember, take it one step at a time. So does 64 go into eight? Nope. Does 64 go into 84? Yes. So your first digit's going to be in the hundreds place. 64 goes into 84 one time, 64 goes underneath, and you subtract. 4 minus 4 is 0. 8 minus 6 is 2. Bring down the 5 and continue dividing. When you're finished, multiply to check. This math needs to be done in your math notebook. Great job, fifth graders.